Hello everyone, in this quick demo, I will present you how you can achieve an end-to-end -end recipe using Atlassian tools. These are tools using which we can achieve an end-to-end -end recipe. Beginning with conference, let's talk about conference. What is conference? Conference is a requirement management page where you can create, organize, and discuss your work with team. These are the points which I will be covering today. This is a requirement document page for any product or project. How you can create it? Just click on create and select product requirement template and you will get a page similar to this. Here you can tag respective person and they will receive a notification in the mail. Not only this, you can also provide inline commenting. Just select some text. So we are reloading this page again due to some reason the editor was not loaded. Okay, trying once again. You can provide inline comments also to concerned person and they will get notification for the same. You can also add some general comments like scroll down and come to the comment section. Tag the person you want to discuss something and just type your message. If you go to these three dots, you can see page history. What is the current version of this particular requirement document page and what changes has been done in which version we can track here as well. Who has performed the changes? So basically we can, we are version controlling for the requirement document page too. Now, this is about conference. Moving ahead, with project tracking tool which is Jira. Jira is a project tracking tool where you can plan and track your work and ship on time. These are the points which I will be covering today. Now getting back to Jira. If you go to conference page you can see one epic ticket linked here. Epic, once you click on it, it will take you to Jira. Now if you have a close look at this, an epic is one feature, right? And one feature can have multiple stories and all stories can have test issue types or test cases for the same. If you look at the epic workflow, so this is a workflow we have created our own as per our need based on company's requirement we can create customized workflows too now this is part for breaking stories estimation prioritization which is related to requirement management which we are covering using our conference and in implementation phase implementation of the feature is done to achieve functionality or to achieve one feature we have multiple stories if the epic if the feature is an implement in implementation state what happens so the tickets get assigned to developers now have a look at one of these story tickets on conference we will get into jira story ticket So, this is one of the story ticket for that particular feature. Take a look at the workflow. Once the requirement is faced, what product owner does, he creates story and he creates multiple stories for every feature, for every requirement as per their need. 
once requirement is done designing of the same has to be performed so once designing is done it is sent for design review if it is approved it means it is ready for implementation in ready for implementation developer gets the ticket now how you can assign ticket just while creating your story or creating your tickets you can add your roles who would be designer who would be design reviewer scrum master who is developer who is reviewer and who would be the tester once the ticket is in ready for implementation it gets assigned to the developer now what developer does developer begins his code once coding is done from his end something has to be done with the code so using our atlassian tool stash he will create comment he will comment his code and he will create pull request for the same now these are the points which i will covering for stash getting back to jira ticket if you scroll down you will see one section for development where there are three comments if you click on it you will get a detailed view of what all commits has been done as part of this particular story ticket if i click on this i'll get that in this particular comment this code was deleted and you can also see who is author of the commit what is the commit id what message was type wide developer and what all files were changed so this was modified this was deleted and this was added so if you go to commit from jira we are landing to stash so now you can see how from a requirement document page how from conference we came inside jira and from jira how we came inside stash from stash we can again navigate back to our jira ticket just click on this and you'll get your jira issue once code is committed one pull request is generated by the developer to get it reviewed so when the story is in review state a pull request is generated by the developer now go to the development part click on pull request and you can have a close look at the details of pull request if you click on pull request icon you will see there are three tabs open merged and decline the open tab shows list of pull request which is open as part of this though we don't have any open pull request for this we will see what all tickets has been merged what all commits has been merged as part of this ticket there are details like who is author who is reviewer what is the source and what is destination when it was last updated now getting back to jira ticket you can see it also shows that what is the status of the pull request generated it is merged once the pull request is merged it goes to testing this testing is unit level testing at story level what we do we perform unit level testing once our epic once we have completed one feature then it goes for staging implementation where integration testing is performed by the testers coming back to our story ticket so you can see here that 
the pull request is merged and also a build for the same is created. If you click on this build, you will get details of Bamboo. Getting back to Bamboo, what is Bamboo? Using Bamboo, we can do a continuous delivery from code to deployment. These are points which I will be covering today as part of Bamboo. So this is the distribution plan, this is the latest build and how much time it took to pass when it was completed and what are its artifacts. I'll click on the latest build and see what details are being displayed. You can see that this particular build was successful. Changes were done by this and this person. This is build summary, what tests were generated, what all commits are part of this build, what all artifacts were generated, what are logs, what are metadata, and which Jira ticket is associated with this build. So again, from Bamboo, we can get back to Jira. Suppose we have multiple features, multiple story tasks is now done. What we have to do? Now, what tester will do? For every deployment on integration, tester has to perform an integration testing. So how about testing? How we are managing that using Atlassian tool? For managing our test, we are using Zephyr for Jira. So how we can do that? These are the points which I will be covering today. Getting back to Jira again. If you take a look at issue links, you will see what all test cases are associated with the story. Now, tester has to perform the execution of test cases, which is deployed to integration environment. How we can execute those test cases? Just click on execute. It will ask how do you want to execute? Is it an ad hoc or you want to add it to some existing test cycle? I'll go with adding some of the test cycle. Clicking on execute will take us to the execution page of ticket. If you scroll down, suppose this particular test is passed. I'll mark as pass. What happens if this fails? If this fails, tester will create a new issue, a new bug for that. Bug will be raised within this project and again from Zephyr, we are getting back to Jira. So this is how from conference, we get into Jira. From Jira, we get into Stash. From Stash, we get into Bamboo, and again from Bamboo, we get back to Jira, then test issue types, then execution of test, then from Zephyr, again we are back to a Jira ticket. So this is how, using confidence tools, we can have an end-to-end -end traceability. I hope this helps. Thanks.